Hello everybody. This will be a short and concise video that it will take like a pill when you want to reach the level 1000 chess.com rapid. For a longer version, please check the video in the description. I spent hours and hours and hours watching and observing data. And then I summarized everything in this long version. But today's video, I will show you the gist of that long video. So these are the five things you should be avoiding. You should be stopping to reach the level 1000 on chess.com. Here is the first position. In this position, black. He sees that he can generate mate in one if he does knight f4. So he goes knight f4. And so well, you tell me what is missing. He's missing that the queens are now touching each other. And the white player didn't see it. Takes on d7 and black mates. This was a very common issue below 1000 chess.com. And you must be fixing this to reach 1000. The fixing should happen on the blunder check, obviously, right? You should blunder check your moves. You should try to falsify them. You should see what has changed, what is different. You should improve your board vision, for example. You should not only focus on your own plans like this, but also you should see that the opponent exists in chess. Another common problem. Take a look at this position. Why just goes queen f3? Can you tell me what should black do in this position and what should black avoid as well? Because in the actual game, below 1000 person cast long and allowed to mate in one. Oh my god. You should be stopping this kind of blundering away mates. This is a very common problem below 1000. Around 800 chess.com people, they see that their rook is hanging. They see the direct threats, but they still make a move and allow mate in one. It's a very common mistake. You should be stopping this before you make a move, before you imagine that you will cast long, you should check the opponent's forcing moves and see that you don't get mated as a result. Checkmates end the game. So sometimes you can go for a mate instead of material gains because in this game, 800 person just took the knight. But if he just take a step back, he could mate the white king in two moves. Can you find it? Because 1,000 mated players usually find such moves. Yes, the great sequence is bishop h6 followed by queen d5 mate. So if you want to reach 1000, you should also feel the skill of mate in twos, short calculations, forcing calculations, and know that mating the king is more important than the material gain. Well, below 1000 people's openings are bad because they are going for this cheap holes and cheap tricks and queen h5s and scholar mate attempts, it's a very pervasive pattern. But if you want to reach 1000, you must stop playing for such cheap tricks because your opponents will start punishing you for such endeavors. So you should move the pieces, develop your army gradually. Don't make the queen move too early and just follow the golden rules in the opening. That will serve you greatly, trust me, in your chess progress. And finally, the end game pattern knowledge. At your level, endgames are still quite rare, but the basic pattern should be known. In this position after a5, white player around 800 just resigned in this position. In fact, if white simply draws back the king all the way to a1, there is no way for the rook pawns to make any progress. And this is a very typical and common endgame pattern that you must know. You don't need to know 100 endgames at this stage, but very basic pattern should be known. By the way, black had a winning move in this position. Can you see it? Of course, king b4, shouldering away the white king and escorting those pawns to promotion. These are very simple endgame patterns that you should also have some knowledge as you want to improve and progress towards the level 1000 folks. So these were my quick summary of the things you should be avoiding as around 800 players to reach the level 1000 on chess.com. For a longer version and with much more detailed explanations and data, you should check the longer version in the description below. And please let me know, send me your comments and feedback on what you think about this video. Do you, for example, relate to these examples? Do they speak to you and whether you found them useful? It's best when we learn from other people's mistakes and I hope you take your lessons to make the next step in your chess progress. Thank you and bye-bye.